What's up, guys? Free Nachos here, back again with another episode of our Atlanta Falcons franchise rebuild series here on Madden 24. Last episode, we had finished the regular season up, and we finished the season 17-0. We got home field advantage, um, I believe, like week 15 or 16, and we just simmed the rest of the season. So now, here we are. We get to play the Dallas Cowboys, who are 11-6. and six. And before we get into today's episode, we're going to go ahead and look at the end-of-season stats. Um... For our team, Desmond Ritter had 4,135 yards, 32 passing touchdowns. We did have 22 interceptions, which is high. Our completion percentage was at 68%. Uh, our longest pass was 73 yards, and we took 25 sacks. As far as rushing, Bijan and Tyler Algier both got carries. Bijan had 250 carries for 1,910 yards, 7.6 yards per attempt. 17 rushing touchdowns and fumbled once. His longest run was 75 yards. And Tyler Algier also ran pretty well for us. He ran for 613 yards at 4.8 yards average and had 12 rushing touchdowns. So as a team, we had well over 30 rushing touchdowns. Uh, Cordero Patterson had four rushing touchdowns, which was cool. I only got him 30 attempts, though. I would have liked to have given him more. Um, as far as our receiving, Drake London was our number one receiver. He had 60 catches for 1,142 yards and nine touchdowns. Matt Collins pitched in 58 catches for 749 yards and three touchdowns. Bijan Robinson went for 700 yards. So he ran for nine, 1,900, caught for another 700, and had four additional receiving touchdowns. Kyle Pitts got hurt midway through the year, so he didn't have that good of a statistical season. He still had an average season, considering he was out for half the year. He had 500 yards and five touchdowns. Scotty Miller emerged uh, towards the end of the season for us. He had six touchdowns. And um, Janu Smith, in the absence of Kyle Pitts, caught for 315 yards and four touchdowns. Uh, defensively, our two leading tacklers were um, Caden Ellis and Michael Walker. Both of them had great seasons. Um, Caden Ellis had five sacks and three picks. Michael Walker had four and a half sacks and four picks, which is just great. Jesse Bates had a great season. He had 97 total tackles and three interceptions. Um, our sack leader on the team was Lorenzo Carter, who had 18 and a half sacks. There was a spree there where he was just getting like three sacks a game. Um, David Onyemata pitched in seven and a half. Uh, Jeff Okuda led our team with five interceptions and forced fumbles. We only had a couple. Um, uh, we had one block. No, we had two blocks. Jesse Bates and Clark Phillips each had a block. And then defensive scores. We had one by Bates, Walker, Jeff Okuda, Richie Grant, Trey Flowers, and Andre Smith Jr. So that is our end of season stats. We're going to go ahead and hop into our divisional playoff game now against the Dallas Cowboys. But first, let's do our game day goal, the first of many. Coach, you're heading into your first playoff game. Playoff success often makes or breaks a career. How often, or I'm sorry, how important is your first playoff win? We're going to play it cool. I'm not going to guarantee the win, especially against the Cowboys, who are one of the most the best teams in Madden. Um, we could easily lose this game. All right, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and hop in, boys. We are at home. Let's do it. round of the NFL playoffs and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Cowboys and the Falcons coming up next. The NFL playoffs are on EA Sports and we've got a packed house here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta. Coming up, we've got an ultra-important divisional round matchup in the NFC. As it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Hello everyone, 
Christmas and postseason continues here on EA Sports. We're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys. It will be nice to have Kyle Pitts back. But that team is coming in off of a win last that's a big week. boost. And I don't know if I saw Micah Parsons um, on the opening play screen there. They might not have Micah Parsons for this game. I have to look. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And they will be led out by their second year quarterback. For a guy still in his second year in the NFL, this is obviously a big spot for him to try and fill. Able to engineer the victory in the wild card round last We're going to go play to our strength, which is running the ball. Um, their defensive strength is pass defense. Yeah, I don't see Micah Parsons. He's out for this game. What What is Lindstrom doing? And he got himself injured. He completely did not block anyone. And now he's hurt. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. Not off to a good and start we'll defensively. On second down, another shot for Robinson. We're going to play to our strength and run the ball. They have two shutdown corners. They have Gilmore and um, Diggs. So we are not going to really test them a whole bunch because I've done that before in my other franchises and they've destroyed me. And in previous games, it led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still be John. There we go. First down. Because you get into trouble when you start throwing the ball all over the field. We need to pound the ball, pick our shots. Or you can do this a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. Oh, yeah, they're blitzing off the left. We're going to run straight to the right. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. They're not going to be able to defend this. Kyle Pitts. Use the speed. Late hit. Dude, I'm way out of bounds. Late hit. I might be able to hit London. Nope. There we go. That's what I didn't want to have happen. That was that was really dumb on my part. The route, the route brought him right over to that stop. That's how, you, that's how, that's losing football right there. That is how you lose. Can't believe I did that. Awful, awful, awful start to our first playoff game. <laughs> Richie James almost said, give me that. Can't believe I already threw an interception on the first drive of the game, on the playoffs. That's just, that's just horrible. The second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. This is what happens when I get away from the run. The first time they had the football, I throw anywhere near Diggs and Gilmore. And because of that, you know, the thought process they're gonna pick it. Interception, what interception? It didn't really hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. They able to find the open man, that's complete. And he's gonna have the Falcons' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening. Good protection. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down. Get off me. Let's go. 
Let's put up a TD, boys. Come on. Hit him with some Bijan. Block for me. Let's go. Let's go hurry up on that. Let's go. That's how we win this game. Desmond Ritter is going to be a game manager for us. No, oh, 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 oh. no, sir, no, sir. I'm gonna flip this. Scotty Miller. Let's go. That's a big injury for them. He's their dime backer. Ah, inaccurate ball. Let's go. No need to pass the ball when we got Bijan Robinson. Go right after the weakness of their team, which is up the middle. Inside. Ooh. Let's go. Oh, this game is done. This game is donezo. Oh man, what a big play. And, he, and CD Lamb stopped too. Let's go. Robinson leading the offense out for another drive. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And that means it's something to build on. So you get the first one, and hopefully that can ignite them. And now they can make a few more plays and get back into this game. And finally, down he goes. As they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Drake London with a big, big reception on third and long. Let's go. Drake London with the inside release. Strong hands. Let's go. They played cover one. I think they just played cover one man right there. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. I mean, with all the action. Pollard going to try the right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a game. To throw his press game. Call timeout. They'll probably kick. Maybe they'll go for it. No, they're going. And the move from Mike McCarthy is going to be to keep the offense on the field here on fourth down. They're going for it. Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. Dangerous. These guys are desperate already. These guys are playing desperate. In fact, they got. And again, it's Prescott. Throw complete right side to Coates. And down inside the 15, shy of the. 
Looking to throw. Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jake Ferguson in 11 yard touchdown. Good play. Good throw across your body. Look at that. The way this one was going, you just got Dot. the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing. I think we're just going to run the ball into the half. I've gone too many times where I try to get aggressive and then I end up throwing a pick. On first down, Ritter. They'll find Miller. That's complete. Room past the 35. That's not bad. That is not bad. We might be able to get a field goal. Ritter to throw it. Spike it. Alright, we're in field goal range. Maybe a quick out to London. Ooh! Unsportsmanlike! Dude, are we going to get a shot in the end zone? No, we're only on the 10. We're just going to kick the field goal. What a drive, though. We only had like 35 seconds to start the drive. Get a field goal. That's a win. Beautiful ball, right on time. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Block for me. Let's go. Can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Oh my god! Two picks by Desmond Ritter, one for a touchdown. Letting the Cowboys right back in the game. They're right back in this game. In the red zone. What a horrible, horrible pick by Desmond Ritter. They baited him. They baited him into the quick throw. Another horrible decision by Desmond Ritter, a.k.a. me. I am not passing the ball for the rest of this game because it is just weaponizing the Cowboy defense. Like, why would you pass the ball when I can run like this? Why would you pass the ball? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Patterson. That's it. That's the one. Just run right at him. Run right at Trayvon Diggs, force him to tackle you. Bijan throwing a block on Gilmore. Give their defense chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. 
And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. He's out and do that in. A nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they turn that Which way are you going to throw it? From the red zone now, Prescott. Woo! Okuda! Bye bye! Ah! You ain't gonna catch him! You ain't gonna catch him! Let's go! Jeff Okuda with the game breaker! With the game breaker! First it was Terrell Lewis. Or, uh, AJ Terrell. Jeff Okuda in traffic. Let's go. Get some of that home cooking, Dak. Huge play. Again! Jeff Okuda! Let's go! Oh, hell yeah. Jeff Okuda is just making Dak his. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Jeff Okuda making a case to be an X Factor. Oh, this is embarrassing now for Dak. That's his third pick of the game. Two touchdowns. We put we're up at 45 points against Dallas. Same same strategy. Same strategy. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. He almost threw another one. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. He almost threw another one. Everything in front of them. They blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Ah. Uh, in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. I thought they were going to run bench, which is why I went to the outside. Before being stopped just before the 35. It's okay. On third and 10, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. They'll throw again. Prescott. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage Prescott is trying to fit it in those tight digs. Yeah, defensively, I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight ah. games for a 100-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. Up How to the ground incomplete. Throwing again. Prescott on oh, fuck. The ball is caught. He let him right through. He didn't bump him at all. That's probably my fault. That's probably my fault because I was in the deep half there. That was beautiful. Right in the hole. No reason to go away from it now. Ritter on the fourth down try. And this is Let's go. Desmond Ritter making up for those two picks he threw. Right. The road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's gonna have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. Yeah. That's right. Someone's gonna have to come into our house and beat us. Because that's prime pick six territory. That time he made sure the only guy was gonna catch it was sitting in the third row. Gotti. 
Michael Walker been making plays all season. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. They just ran verticals. I manned them up and blitz. <laughs> it didn't work. It did not work. And I would love to know. We'll find out later on. Was that call right before to the, the play? And in this case, they nailed it. Got right to the quarterback. No chance on that fourth down. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23 yard line. 137 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on Oh, is he doing the. Uh, is he doing the Zeke? Feed him, feed him, feed him. Here we go. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. We just got to make a stand. We've had enough of this. Giving up a lot of points in this game, but look better on that play. Robinson. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two yard line. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log all right, let's go ahead and do our first of many goal here. Huge congrats on the playoff win. Seven staff points, okay. Definitely want to fill out our staff. Dominant, dominant win. Jeff Okuda coming up huge. Two pick sixes. Um, and now we get to face one of the other toughest teams in the league to play against the San Francisco 49ers. We're going to defend the quick pass again, and we are going to do blitz counter because Nick Bosa is screaming off the edge. I play the 49ers a lot in my Rams franchise. Um, and Fred Warner, the middle linebacker is probably the best player in Madden. Um, just because of his zone Hawk ability like he he intercepts me about once or twice every single game and he warps across the field to erase people um he's just so fast he has like huge awareness and play recognition so we are definitely again not going to be throwing the football because that plays right into Nick Bosa that plays right into Fred Warner and those two are that entire defense so let's go ahead and quickly use our staffing points Um, that's fine. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and cut the episode there. When we continue, we will play the San Francisco 49ers and Brock Purdy. And there it's going to be a test. This is going to be another drop down, drag out dog fight. So I will see you all next episode and I look forward to it. So anyway, guys, my name is Free Nachos. Thanks as always for stopping in and I'll see you on the next episode.